Hi everyone, Ted from LTM Simply. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate with you guys what currently is going on as far as the interest rates. They have such a, an amazing rate currently with Discovery. I just realized because I do have Discovery for my uh, saving account and it went up from 2.4, I believe, to 3. And as I was checking, I found out that you could get a 12-month CD for 4%. So there are so many other ways right now. If you have an emergency fund, it's a great idea to have it parked at least in a saving or if you have three to six months of your expenses, maybe you might, you might want to put it on the 4% uh, city for 12 months. And Discovery is one of them. I was checking online. I came across uh, Fairwinds has a 3% as well on the first $1,000. So for people that feel more comfortable, but it's only $1,000. So let's say you have the first step to have $1,000 saved before you pay any credit card or any uh, anything. You put it in there and you're getting a 3% interest. And then if you have any more after the step two that you cleared all the credit cards, if you have any more cash, you could put it into the discovery saving at 3% or in a CD, you can lock it for 12 months. Then I was doing some other searches. I found out Citibank has a 4.25, but this one is 18 months. So it's a year and a half, minimum of $1,000, and you can get a 4.25. That's why I decided instead of trying to chase a quarter of a percent, I decided to keep all of the saving the emergency saving into a discovery at a 3%. And if you have, let's say a car payment, or if you have a mortgage at 2.75 or 2%, it's a choice that you have to make. You're getting a 3% currently versus paying off towards your mortgage extra. We talk more into other videos as far as how to attack the mortgage, but we're just going to keep this video uh, talking about what interest rates currently are out there and what options do you have. Again, there's so many other banks. I just happened to find three of them, and I do like Discovery and Fairwinds. Till next time.